All right, so who is Q Jackson? Go ahead, I'm giving you the right to brag, brag on yourself, let people know who you are and a little bit about your accomplishments. Well, I guess this is the first time I'm saying this to a major audience, but Q Jackson is a 30 year old professional. I moved to Atlanta about 10 years ago, um, got into a whole bunch of things from event planning to um, being an assistant for a magazine, I had the opportunity to um, work with a magazine for about seven years, Became was a writer, then I became an editor. And throughout that time, I got the opportunity to experience a lot of different things and meet a lot of great people. Nice. So in addition to being the socialite that I am, um, I also started a branding agency um, about six years ago, Quintessential Branding. Mm -hmm. um, we've worked with everybody from um, music artists, we've worked with chefs, we've worked with authors, we've worked with a variety of individuals. Okay. Um, in addition to doing that, um, I'm also the editor of a gentleman's publication called The Quintessential Gentleman. Make sure you guys check it out, www.thecutegentleman.com. Nice. I am also um, a co-host on a radio show that is nationally syndicated at this point. Okay. Um, and I plan events. So yeah, Hugh Jackson is a man that saw opportunities in life and decided to take them. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about branding versus publicist, okay? How is branding different from being a publicist? I know a lot of people use those terms or those, uh, you know, inter interchangeably, right? Yeah, yeah. So give us an explanation if you can. And the truth is um, branding and publicity, they definitely go hand in hand. However, they are two totally different things. Branding is the creation of an identity, to sum it up. And publicity mm -hmm. is the exposure of that identity. Okay. So I'm the person that helps to create the person that the world is going to see. And then a publicist, which oftentimes is me as well for some of my clients, um, is the person that's going to take that brand that we've created or that identity that we've created and we're going to expose it to the world. Is it safe to say that you take a rapper from level one who has no identity, give them identity, and then market them. Is it safe to, is it safe to say that? You set yeah. them up to be marketable, Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, get, I, I pretty much pull everything out that they've had inside of them, mm -hmm. that they didn't know where to place it, and put it all together, and put it into a package that everybody can identify with, if you will. Walk us through the process. If a music artist comes in and says, Q, I do all these different things, okay, here's a lot of money, brand me. How do you help them become branded? Well, first of all, I'm going to give you back that money because what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your music. Nice. I'm going to pay nice. attention to, I'm going to research you. Okay. And with anybody that works with anybody, you need to research the people that you're working with. True. Um, so social media is, is a big tool. Like, that's how a lot of people have actually contacted me to work together via social media. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do my research to see who it is you are. I'm not going to lie, I've made the mistake in the past where, you know, okay, I was new to this and somebody offered me something that I wasn't familiar with. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. Let's, let's go ahead. But not only was it not right because, I mean, it, it just wasn't there, but... It actually kind of affected my brand because people associated me with something that I didn't really want to be associated with. So I learned my lesson and I decided that I need to research everything that I do. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody that I work with, it is definitely not an overnight process. Like you don't come to me today and tomorrow we're signing contracts. I need to have conversations with you. We're going to meet face to face so I can see your passion. If I don't see passion, if I don't smell passion, I don't want to work with you. Because at the end of the day, you're coming to me with something that you want to do and you want to expose to the world. So if I have more passion about your brand than you do, we have an issue. We're not going to sign a contract and then you expect me to do all the work. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, this is your brand. So if, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. then it helps me do what I'm supposed to do. In terms of social media, mm -hmm. 
branding and social media. How do you use social media to kind of, you know, bring out the whole branding process or do you even use, is it a part of the branding process, social media? It, it's definitely a part of the, um, the branding and publicity process. Um, people on social media, they're on social media all day long just scrolling and if you have something that, you know, appeals to them, then they're going to want to see more. So what, they're going to click on your page and then they're going to, you know, just kind of scroll your pictures and see what you have going on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if there's something that they can identify with, then they're going to want to follow it and they're going to want to tell their friends. Mm -hmm. And branding is like, I mean, not branding, but social media is like the free international business card. Mm. You know, mm. I've had people contact me based on hashtags mm -hmm. from other countries and I'm like... I'm just a little guy from Cleveland. Like, uh, it's yeah. somebody contacted me from Europe about, you know, something that I never even knew that I was putting out there. Mm -hmm. And then there are things that, you know, hashtags. People create custom hashtags. Mm -hmm. And those are part of brands as well. Me, for instance, something that I like to do is I like to inspire people on a daily basis. So what I do with my social media is I... I it's like a wordplay, like Q. Um, Quinte actually is like a part of my name. So what I did is I added that with inspiration and I have Quinspiration. So okay. every day I like to, you know, put something out there and people become familiar with that. Yeah, you could so social media is definitely a major branding tool that has become very popular very fast. And it's, it's crazy because with the world that we're in now, mm -hmm. you wonder like, how did we do this without social media 10 years ago? Yeah, yeah. So social media is a great thing. Social media is the new business card, right? Yes. Instagram, Facebook, those are the new business cards. So you're right, I think you do need to have your image in place and your brand identity in place on social media mm -hmm. for people to actually take you seriously and want to do business with you. Yeah, so that great. is a great, great example. But um, don't forget about the old school people that are out here working though. So make sure your Facebook is good. Make sure you have business cards. Absolutely. Because there are a lot of people that have been, have been in the game for a while that are not on social media. Mm -hmm. So you need to you know, be able to connect with them where they are. Let's talk a little bit about the branding services, all right? Um, I came to Q before and I was like, Q, I have a music artist. All right, he needs some... You need some branding services. What can you do for us? Q got us red carpets. Q got us this. Q got us that. Q, tell us what can you get the music artists out there? What can you help them with? Well, I can help to get you whatever it is your heart desires. Nice. As long as you are willing to do the work. Because at the end of the day, what I let all my clients know mm -hmm. is this is not an overnight process. This is not something that happens immediately. Because there are hundreds of people, even thousands of people that are doing branding and publicity. There are hundreds of thousands of people that want to be artists. So we're contacting people constantly. We're getting no's constantly. We're working hard as hell on these clients' behalf. And they don't, a lot of times they don't see the hard work. All they see is, yeah, I didn't get this opportunity or I did get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, so being realistic is a major thing when working with me. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm in contact with all of my clients on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Um, a lot of the things that I have offered clients, um, exclusive opportunities to be on like red carpets at, at events, being at tapings, whether interviews with um, you know celebrities or you know different things like that, yeah. radio interviews. Yeah magazine interviews, features, write-ups, things like that. Mm -hmm. So anything that's going to gain you positive exposure, um, I'm, I'm the guy that helps do that. I'm out here networking all the time. Like I have thousands of business cards, I have thousands of emails, I have wow. thousands of numbers in my phone. So I definitely believe in building the relationships. You know, I may meet somebody today that, you know, we may not talk for a while, but I may get an opportunity, um, mm -hmm. you know, from a client and that I have the connection already for that client. So, yeah. you know, I'm out there all the time working. I have an event tomorrow for the client. So nice. Nice. work, work, work. What you're going to get working with quintessential branding is quality, dedication, commitment, communication, 
All that. All, all that. that. Yeah. All that. Okay. So say you have a music artist, right? He goes to an event, okay? What is his goal at this event? What should he be doing to get the most uh, use, right? And connections out of this whole red carpet event or whatever it may be. The purpose of you going to an event is first of all, to be seen because um, there, you know, you never know who you're going to meet at an event. Absolutely. You know, red carpets are fine, but if you're not there, making the connections, getting in people's face, letting them know who you are and finding out who they are, mm -hmm. then the purpose of you going to an event was a waste of outfit. Yeah. So if you're gonna go go with the mindset of meeting at least five to ten new people. Mm -hmm. You know, and as we said, social media is a major calling card That's nowadays. Right. You know, so if you're gonna go ahead and go to these events, make sure your social media is up to par. Make sure your outfits up to par. Give people something to remember you by. When you go to events, make sure that you do something that you didn't do the day before. Make sure you meet somebody that you didn't meet the day before and make that moment memorable. Absolutely. So, go to an event, be memorable, make good connections, follow through with those connections, and then make sure your social media, right, is up to par. So that way, you're not out here looking like a joke. If somebody meets you and says, okay, what does that guy do again? You know, yeah. I go on a social media, he doesn't do that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I get it. I love it. I love the answer. And um, music artists need to take notes. So Let people know a random, a random fact about Brandy. Well, you know what? A random fact about Brandy. And this is something that the world is going to become familiar with. I am my brand. You are your brand. Anybody can create a brand. Honestly, at the end of the day, when you wake up, you're not the same person as the next person. And the next person is not the same person as the next person. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not the person that wants to be in front of a major audience, you are still a brand. The person that you are, you're representing something. You're representing yourself. So that can be considered a brand. Everybody is a brand. There we go. You heard it. Everybody is a brand and Q, quintessential, right? Yes. Casino Smooth. Um, pleasure speaking with you today. And uh, thanks for giving the people here and the music artists out there knowledge and, and, and insight into branding. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to expose branding to the Absolutely. world. All right, guys. Go to the website, ParadigmMusicGroup.com, for all your music promotional needs. And uh, see you guys on, on, the, on the flip side.